Introduction Seahorses are some of the most fascinating and intriguing creatures in the ocean. They are instantly recognizable by their distinctive appearance, with their horse-like head and long, slender bodies. Seahorses are unique among fish species in that the males carry the eggs and give birth to the offspring. In this video, we will explore the biology, ecology, and conservation of seahorses. Biology Seahorses belong to the family Cygnathidae, which also includes pipefish and sea dragons. There are approximately 50 species of seahorses, found in shallow tropical and temperate waters worldwide. The smallest seahorse species, the pygmy seahorse, measures just 1.5 cm in length, while the largest, the big belly seahorse, can grow up to 35 cm. Seahorses have a unique skeletal structure that consists of a series of bony plates rather than a conventional skeleton. This structure provides them with protection from predators while allowing them to maintain their characteristic shape. Seahorses have an elongated snout that they use to suck in small crustaceans and other tiny creatures, which they consume whole. Seahorses have excellent camouflage abilities, and their colors can range from brown, gray, and yellow to green and red. Some species have bony protrusions on their bodies that resemble seaweed, which further helps them blend in with their surroundings. Reproduction Seahorse reproduction is unique among fish species. The males carry the eggs in a special brood pouch on their abdomen, where they are fertilized by the females during a courtship ritual. The females lay their eggs into the male's pouch, where they are fertilized and then incubated until they hatch. Once the eggs hatch, the male gives birth to live young, which are fully formed miniature replicas of their parents. The male can give birth to as many as 1,500 offspring in a single brood. After giving birth, the male can become pregnant again within hours. Ecology Seahorses are found in a range of marine habitats, including coral reefs, seagrass beds, and mangrove swamps. They are most commonly found in shallow, 
tropical and temperate waters, but some species can also be found in colder waters, such as the long-snouted seahorse, which inhabits the southern coast of England. Seahorses are solitary creatures and spend most of their time hiding among seaweed or coral, waiting for small crustaceans and other tiny creatures to come within range of their snout. They are slow swimmers and rely on their excellent camouflage abilities to avoid predators such as larger fish and seabirds. Seahorses play an important ecological role in their habitats. They are considered to be a keystone species, meaning that they have a disproportionate impact on the ecosystem compared to their abundance. Seahorses are an important source of food for many predators and help to control the population of small crustaceans and other prey species. Conservation Seahorses are threatened by a range of factors, including habitat loss, overfishing, and the international trade in seahorses for use in traditional medicine and as curios. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, lists many seahorse species as either vulnerable or endangered. One of the biggest threats to seahorses is the destruction of their habitat. Coastal development, pollution, and climate change all contribute to the loss of seagrass beds, mangrove swamps, and other important seahorse habitats. Overfishing is also a major threat, as seahorses are often caught accidentally in fishing nets or targeted for use in traditional medicine. To address the conservation challenges facing seahorses, several international initiatives have been established. In 2002, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species sites, imposed restrictions on the trade of seahorses, making it illegal to export them without a permit. This has helped to reduce the international trade in seahorses, although illegal trade still persists. In addition to trade restrictions, efforts are being made to conserve seahorse habitats and promote sustainable fishing practices. This includes the establishment of marine protected areas and the development of guidelines for sustainable seahorse fishing. Another important aspect of seahorse conservation is public education and awareness. Many people are unaware of the threats facing seahorses and the important ecological role they play.
By raising awareness and promoting conservation efforts, we can help to ensure the survival of these fascinating creatures for future generations. Conclusion Seahorses are some of the most unique and fascinating creatures in the ocean. Their biology, ecology, and reproductive habits are unlike any other fish species. However, Seahorses are facing a range of threats, including habitat loss, overfishing, and illegal trade. To protect these creatures, efforts are being made to conserve their habitats, promote sustainable fishing practices, and raise public awareness. By working together, we can help to ensure the survival of seahorses and other marine species for future generations.